Hey, this is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing a giant Play-Doh egg surprise video for you guys. We have two eggs here. We have a Lego egg and a DCTC egg. Now, we're going to start the video off by opening up the Lego egg first. And I think you guys are really going to like what's inside of our egg right here. Let's go ahead and take our Lego Batman off the egg, and let's move this forward. We're going to take the letters off first. There's our Lego logo. <laughs> so, so let's go ahead and get all of this red Play-Doh off of here so we can see what is inside. There's just so many cans of Play-Doh on here. And let's get the top off. And inside we have a Vinylmation. This is the Sleeping Beauty Vinylmation. But more importantly, we have all of these Lego packs. Look how many is in here. We have a total of 10. We're going to open up 10 Lego Surprise Packs. We also have one more Vinylmation. This is the Urban Redux number one. So we have a couple blind boxes. But more importantly, we have these. And let's actually, let's start with this one. This is going to be series number 10. And now that I have my trusty scissors, let's go ahead and get this thing open. And if I had to pick one from this series that I'd like to get, it's going to be this one right there. That's going to be, I think that's Medusa. It looks like Medusa, but that would be the one that I'd like. Hopefully, we have 10 packs here. Hopefully, I'll call one of them that I wanted to get. But we definitely did not get Medusa out of this. So I'm trying to figure out which one we got here. It's kind of hard to tell. In fact, I don't think he's actually, he's not on the, he's not on the package. Let's get this opened up and we got this guy right there. There he is. Looks like a school teacher or something or a grandfather, but I'll get him put together and we'll see what he looks like. So here's our old dude with his newspaper that says old times. He's got his little coffee mug and now all he needs is country kitchen buffet or maybe crackle barrel and he'll be set. He's got some little suspenders on the back. So that's a good way to start off the video with him. Now let's go ahead and open up the next one. This is going to be series number four. And if I had to pick one out of this, I think I want the hockey player. I think he'd be pretty cool. The hockey player or Frankenstein. Those are the two that I would want to get. Let's see what we actually do get. <laughs> We're 0 for 2 so far. This one kind of looks like a samurai or maybe a Japanese lady with a fan. I think that's what we got. So I'll get her put together and we'll check out the other figures as well. So it looks like we got number two and you know I've been trying to think of what these ladies are called and I want to say a kabuki dancer. That's my that's my guess for today's video but they do have some really cool figures in there. Here's a, like a little gnome and the viking looks pretty cool. There's a surfer girl. There's some really nice ones in here. There's a radioactive suit. That one looks pretty cool too. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good series if you're going to pick one. And we're going to set her down, and this one is going to be series number 13. I think, I think this is the newest one. I got this from Target, and I want to say it was one of the newest series. I don't know if there is a series 14 yet or not. There's just, there's so many of these, and you know, I didn't say which one I want. I actually want this one, and I promise I did not look in the package, but I want the green octopus right there. And we did not get that one. We got some sort of disco stew looking guy. So I'll get them put together and we'll check out all the other figures. So we got number 13 and he has little roller blades. Look at that. That is so cool that they gave him little roller blades. And he's got a microphone. He's got the old 70s disco hair. So that's a really cool figure too. We're, we're actually, uh, we've gotten some pretty good ones other than the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not one of my more favorite ones, but this is going to be series number nine. And here's a look at the front of the package. The chicken guy looks pretty neat. So does that one right there. And let's see what we get. And you know, I haven't actually, I haven't opened a lot of these series. So this is the first time that I've opened some of these. And I think Brandon might have done some, but he hasn't done a lot. And from looking at the little uniform, I think we got a police officer. So I'll get a piece together and we'll find out. And it looks like we got number six, which is right there. He comes with this police badge and some handcuffs. That's a pretty nice one. There's some really cool figures in this one as well. There's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde figure. There's some sort of space Power Ranger looking guy. <laughs> and uh, I think that's a judge. And we have a Cyclops right there. That Cyclops looks pretty cool. So, you know, I'm, I wish we could have gotten one of the other ones, but that's still not a bad one. We'll set him down, and this is going to be series number six. 
here's a look at the front of the package look at the alien right there that's going to be the one that i would want the alien but let's see what comes sliding out of here it's actually a lot of fun to do this video with so many different series and the fact that i haven't opened that many of them and what did we get looks like we got a surgeon so let's see where he's at on this piece of paper let's, let's take a look at the other figures before i put him together so there's the alien man i'd have been so happy if we had gotten him i almost want to buy more of this series just so i could get that one but here's a look at some of the other ones and you know the alien's pretty cool but some of them other ones i'm not so sure about we did get that genie right there at some point i, I do remember that one so we have opened one from this series but i'll get it put together and we'll check it out and here's our surgeon ready to do some operating and he has this little x-ray right there with what appears to be a little cracked rib <laughs> so i guess that's what he's going to be fixing so that's kind of a neat one definitely not a boring character and next up we have series number seven and you know i'm looking at these i'm not really sure i like any of them. maybe the blue guy right here in the front that's about the only one that I'm, you know this might be one of the least interesting series in my opinion just from looking at the front of the package but maybe it's got some really cool figures that are on the paper the sheet inside of it and what did we get this time looks like we got the rocker so we got this one right here and let's check it out so here's our rocker chick ready to jam out she's number 15 on the package and you know now that i've seen the sheet i'm gonna have to kind of confirm what i said a moment ago i'm really not that interested in most of these figures in fact there's really not one on here that i like but except for this one right here that's about the only one so in my opinion so far this is probably the one series that i would not want to buy more of but let's go ahead and open up the next one here's series number eight and we have a football player santa claus we have another really cool alien and we have a pirate so any one of those three i'd be pretty happy with but of course i would like to get the alien so let's see what comes out of this one and we didn't get an alien but looks like we did get a cool one so this looks like some sort of bat guy i think it's maybe this one right here the quarter let's find out so it looks like we got number 11, and it is the little bat guy, bat dude. I don't know what his name is. It's definitely not bat bad. And right there is that alien. Wow, look at that one. That one looks crazy. <laughs> that looks like a really, that might be the one of the coolest looking Lego figures that I've ever seen. But this one's actually pretty cool too. Maybe they, uh, maybe the Lego knew that they didn't do all that well with series number seven. So they made a bunch of really cool figures for the next one because there's some really cool ones in here but let's go ahead and set that down and we have series number three right here wow look at that <laughs> they make some really crazy looking aliens but uh from looking at some of the other p figures that one looks pretty cool too the little samurai or the knight i can't really tell which one he is let's go ahead and get this one opened up and it looks like we got some sort of snowboard that's definitely going to be a snowboard so i'm going to get her put together and we're going to see what she looks like and it looks like we got number five right there and you can actually move her goggles up so you can see her face and it is a female <laughs> snowboarder so it is a girl and here's a look at some of the other figures not the greatest selection in this one it's a couple interesting ones that one is a samurai warrior so that's kind of a neat one we, we i think we got one of the better ones from that series and here is series number two now we do not have series number one so this is the closest that we're going to get to the oldest series in the set now if i had to pick one from this one it's going to be the dracula or maybe the mariachi looking guy we'll go ahead and get this open and who did we get doesn't look like one that oh we got a witch nice now this might be a really cool one so i'll get it put together so it looks like we got number four right here and toto better run and hide because that is a pretty mean looking witch with a broomstick so there she is that's a really cool figure though and here's a look at some of the other ones from this series that dracula looks really cool and we might have gotten one of the best ones from the series that actually looks like the one that we got from one of the other series let's take a look here let's do a little comparison well i guess they're a little different looks like they use the same hair though they got different shades at least 
and we have one more pack left. This is going to be series number 11. So we were missing, I think, series number 12 and series number 1, and I want to say one more, like five or six or something, but here's going to be this series, and if I had to pick one, it's going to be the snowman, the abdominal snowman, how do you say that, or the gingerbread man. That might be a pretty interesting looking one. And what did we get? Definitely neither one of those. So we were 0 for 10 on picking one that I'd like to get. <laughs> so if I was doing the lottery, I would not have won. And from this one, which one do we have here? I think, do we have the scientist? I'm not sure which one this is. So I'm going to get it put together so we can figure it out. And for our final Lego pack out of the giant Lego egg, we got number 10, which is a welder. Definitely not one of the best ones from this set. It's still kind of a neat looking figure because of the little canister. But uh, there's, there's, there's definitely some better ones in here. The one right next to him looks pretty neat. That guy looks pretty cool. And there's a couple other ones like the Scarecrow right there. You could almost make the Wizard of Oz with some of these sets. There's the witch that looks like she came from it. There's the Scarecrow. So we'll set those down and let's go ahead and open up. We have two Vinylmations here. We're not going to be opening any duplicates. So if we get a duplicate, we'll just keep moving on because I want to get into this DCTC egg that we have over here. But inside we got Maleficent's Goon. So there is our Goon. And I want to say we got one of these, but I'm not sure if it was this specific one or not. It might have been. I remember the one that we got, I thought he had like drool on his mouth or something. There's a look at our goons, a pretty simple looking vinylmation. Set that down and then I can guarantee we're going to get a new one in this one. This is the only one that we've gotten so far that we've opened. This is going to be Redux number one. I say I guarantee, but you know, I've seen some crazy things happen, but I am 99% sure we're going to get a new one out of this. And we did. Wow. Look at this. So. We did get the ant, but we got a different version of it. So this is actually, man, this thing's really cool. He's like clear all throughout. Like you can actually see through his body right there too. So it is the same type of figure, but this is definitely, I guess this must be either the one in 24 or the super rare, one or the other. I'm not really sure, but that is one very cool vinylmation. And now that I've gotten my table all situated, let's go ahead and take our character off the top of the DCTC egg. Let's get the first layer of Play-Doh off of here. And then let's get the second layer, the massive amount of blue Play-Doh that's just wrapped all around this egg. And inside we have three surprise packs. Now two of them are going to be Creo, which we have not done in a very, very long time. And then the other one's gonna be Imaginex, and I'm thinking this is a new series too, because this one I got from Target, and it was the first time that I had seen it, and I picked it up about a week ago, and I wanna just rip right into this, and <laughs> we got the one that's right on the front of the package. And I was actually, I was gonna say that was one of the ones that I wanted to get, I just forgot to say it. But here's our little figure, and should be able to just put this, snap this right over the top of them. And I think, yeah, it looks like this just snaps onto his arm. And here's a look at the figure side by side with the photo. And that's a pretty cool Dracula. And here's a look at some of the other ones, that little fish character right there. I don't even know what to call that one. He's like a green Aquaman. That one looks pretty neat. He even has like a little bubble helmet, which I don't quite get that because he looks like he already belongs in the water. So I'm not sure why he needs a helmet. There's a radioactive suit guy. And there's the other two that, yeah, they're all right. But that one's pretty cool. That might be one of the coolest figures that we've opened so far. And for our final two packs, this is going to be the Dungeon and Dragons version. Now, the few that I have opened of this have actually been really cool. So hopefully we'll get a nice figure. And there's a look at all the pieces. And I'm thinking that we might have gotten this one at some point. It looks like some, some sort of knight, but I'll get it put together and we'll find out. And here's our very, very tall knight there with his pointy little spear and the flag right there. And you know, I'm thinking about this one and I, I think we got one similar to this, but I think it was different because I don't remember there being a pointy spear 
on the end of the flag, but you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. It's, it's probably been at least six months since I've done one of those packs. And for our very last final item of the video, this is gonna be the Cityville Invasion, and it looks like we got the doctor, I think, that was sitting back here on the table. I'm looking for him and I don't see him, but I'll get it put together and we'll find out. And here's our two figures that came out of the Creo pack. And where's the doctor? There he is. So we can do a little comparison between the Lego and the Creo. As you can see, the Lego is a lot taller. And one thing I want to point out before we end the video, we did have this sitting out on the table, which is basically the same one. I just kind of reversed their body of their heads. But there's a look at those two. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do want to see more of the Lego or Creo packs, be sure to press the like button if you want to see another video like this again. This is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.